What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to take a look at the MH Toys Fleet Commander. Their version of a knockoff Fans Toys Quietus. This was sent to me by Dr. Diecast. Thanks for sending me things like this and he's actually sending more next week so I really appreciate that. And I actually was thinking about what to call this thing because this is a KO of a third party. So we've got Hasbro and Takara are the first party. Second party is officially licensed companies like 3-0, YOLO Park, so on and so forth. Then we have third party, which, you know, is Fans Toys, x Transbots, Ocular Max, all of those. Then we have fourth party, which we're now calling KOs of first party. So any of the KOs for our, the Masterpiece line. Then we've got fifth party, which is KOs of third party. So I'm going to call this a fifth party figure. <laughs> this is kind of funny. But it does actually look pretty nice. you got a nice paint job on it. It's got a metallic sheen underneath that orange so it's not just orange paint um, it is painted throughout initially i wasn't sure but it does look like there's a coat of paint on everything pretty much 100 percent painted it still retains the die cast from before so the feet are die cast the joints are die cast in the legs uh, some of the hardware internally the chest is die cast and i believe that's it you do get slightly different look for the face um, it is sculpted slightly different so let's actually bring in the fans toys version here so you can take a look so this is the T version which just kind of has the pink hue to it and the face sculpt is definitely done differently now you do get some alternate faces for the IDW style uh, but we don't get the faces that have the goatee so that's an interesting choice uh, but there you go next to the original it does seem like the eyes and the face are sculpted slightly differently, but all in all, pretty much the same, just, you know, different colors. As far as quality is concerned, I'll just set this guy back here. It is pretty good. Um, there's a couple things that are a little bit loose on it, but overall joints are, are tolerance well. The plastic does feel a little bit softer than this plastic. It might just be the paint they use, but it does feel a little bit softer than this. Um, but overall, pretty pretty good feeling and pretty solid. So let's take a look at his articulation. The head is on a rotating swivel. It goes down to there, up to there. This neck could stand to be a little bit tighter. Rotates all the way around. The ears can open and close as you see fit. His bunny ears. The rotation at the shoulder on a ratchet joint. Up to there on a friction joint, that's nicely toleranced. You have a rotation at the bicep. A double jointed elbow gets you the full bend. On some quietest figures, this joint right here is loose. I don't know why they did that on a pin, but they did. Rotation of the wrist, in and out movement at the wrist, that's also nicely tolerance. The fingers are individually articulated. These don't feel as good as the fans' toys, I'll say that. Um, just the overall feel of the plastic, but they do work. They're nicely tolerant. They just, the plastic feels. A little bit cheaper. Coming down to the waist, you have a waist rotation. It's two clicks in both directions, which is the same as the original. Hip skirts will move out of the way, and legs will go up to there on a ratchet. Back to there, I mean, the ratchet is actually very well done, so it's nice and smooth. Out to the side on friction, uh, but it doesn't hold. I don't think the original held either, to be honest. Rotation around a universal. Double jointed knee gets you the full bend. Ankle tilt and a toe or ankle pivot up and down, and then you have toe tilt up so you can get a walking pose. And there is paint down here. The feet are fully painted in kind of this gray and black. As far as accessories, you do get basically the same stuff as you do with the original Quietus, but except for some faces here. So you get the gun here. Again, I think there's a coat of paint on there because there's a sheen to it. Silver paint there. And let's see, that'll, that fits just fine. You also get the bigger blaster here, same color paint. And that'll fit on this side. There is something about Fans Toys paint, they tend to be shinier. And, you know, overall just, it looks more brilliant. I will say the chest on this one does look very brilliant and looks really good. All right, you also get the swords and the samurai armor here with the sheets. 
so that I can plug in on the side here. So there's a little spot right there. You just plug that into there. And by the way, this does move around. And we'll just get the arms out of the way. Same for this side, you can kind of store this on the side. And then you can take these swords, which painted nicely in silver, gold, and orange. A little bit of blue paint there. By the way, these are not a hard plastic, they're soft and bendy. So that's a little bit different than the original. The original was a hard plastic. But these can go into here and store away. So that's pretty nice. You can have that look. You can have him kind of pulling them out or whatever. And the look isn't complete, so you do need this head here. And there you go. And I didn't put the screw back in, but you can get the picture. If you prefer, you can have the complete uh, ears. This is extremely sharp. I, the plastic is like just not cut smoothly. So both of these are very sharp. So be careful with these horns. Uh, but that does look good. I just wanted to show you, you can complete that IDW look. And just to let you see, there's the other kind of yelling face up close. It does look good. So you can either have the straight face or your loving face. I do think the sculpt is a little bit different than the original, um, but it does look good. And last but not least, we get the Target Master here, done in the same color scheme as the main robot, except he's got a little bit of this gunmetal color on the shoulders. Articulation is the same as the original. The head can rotate on a, I think it's a ball joint. Shoulders can rotate all the way around. You can go up to there. You can Rotate at the elbow, it's on a ball joint, goes up to there, gives you 90 degrees. You have a rotation at the waist, um, although you do need to kind of untransform a little bit to get it, but you can rotate the waist. Legs can go up to there, back to there, out to the side on a ball joint. You have a rotation at the knee on a ball joint. Double jointed knee gets you all the way. Ankle tilt, pivot back and forth. This is one of the better Target Masters we've gotten from any company. It's a really good design. And not all the Fans Toys Target Masters are good. This one in particular is one of their better ones um, across the third party world and even first party. Now fifth party. All right, let's get him transforming and rotate the waist 180 degrees. And there is Target Master in gun mode. And he can't hold it. You can put it in his hand. It's got a little tab on the handle. Uh, there you go. Pretty good looking target master. And for our traditional size comparison, there it is next to the Magic Square Optimus Prime. He's uh, pretty tall. He fits in nicely though. Same size as the original, but it does look good. All right, now let's get him transformed into his jet mode. Since we've looked at this figure several times on this channel, I think at least three times, and transformed it, we're going to do it off camera and we'll be right back. All right, and there is Fleet Commander in jet mode. It does look nice, but there are definitely some fit and finish issues with this one compared to the original. So number one, just things don't fit right. So this tab right here just won't go in. It's just not shaped correctly. Um, these tabs also won't peg in perfectly. They're just kind of popping up on both sides. They just don't want to go in. This piece right here, this wing piece, it's supposed to be on a slider, but if you lift it up, it likes to pop off this um, piece here, so both of them popped off as I was transforming it. I popped them back on, but maybe it's this one. Let's see. Yeah, see, it just pops right off. So, you know, not the best fit and finish on this. It does feel like a KO, um, but it does look pretty good. You can open up the cockpit here, and that looks pretty good. And yeah, overall, not a bad looking jet mode. We do still have the landing gear, so you can come to the front and pull out this landing gear, which is really stuck in there. Oh man, that is very tough. Let's see if I can get it from the top. I would recommend, since the paint is kind of getting it stuck, maybe push it through with a spudger. Yeah, that worked. Yeah, that's really tight, so you're probably going to 
damage the paint by pulling on it, but here's that one. And then you have these two. Oh, those are tight. And now I can kind of rest on those wheels. And for your size comparison, there it is next to MP10 Optimus Prime. And the original Fans Toys Quietus, just so you can see the color differences. This one definitely feels more solid, uh, but yeah, there you go. So final recommendations on the MH Toys Fleet Commander C version or their Shattered Glass version. I'm gonna give it a three out of five. I'm gonna partial recommend it. Now, I think the robot mode looks really good. They did a great job on overall the paint color and scheme. All the accessories are, are really well done and they all match. Uh, and they didn't necessarily go cheap on the paint. They kind of painted everything. Uh, but where this kind of falls down is the vehicle mode. I noticed as I was transforming it, some of the finished issues like the wings kind of popping off those joints, the actually the boosters uh, plugging into the arms, uh, little things like that prevented it from transforming all the way. I imagine if I transform this a few times, it's probably going to start suffering uh, from issues. So if you're going to get this for ro robot mode only, that's probably a good bet right and really not transform it um, if you're planning to transform it back and forth i wouldn't recommend this um, for that purpose uh, but that's it for today thanks to dr diecast for sending this review thanks for watching we'll see you next time